Hi Empress, High Priestess. This is going to be a reading for the Empress, High Priestess. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you're saying positive, protected, blessed, and prayed up. And keep you guys all the way up. Empress, High Priestess, Spirit, guys. My God, the angel or angel ancestors. My God, the angel, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for the Empress, High Priestess for September 23rd to September 26, 2022? Empress High Priestess. What are the messages for you guys? For the Empress High Priestess. What are the Empress High Priestess thinking, feeling, doing? What is she up to? What is she going through? Empress High Priestess. What are the messages for the Empress High Priestess? I know you ain't playing no games, Empress High Priestess. You cutting off all bullshit in your life. You setting boundaries. Empress High Priestess. What are the messages, spirit guys, for the Empress High Priestess? What are the Empress High Priestess thinking, feeling, doing? What is she up to? What is she going through? Empress High Priestess for September 23rd to September 26, 2022. Empress High Priestess. What are the messages, spirit guys, my guiding angels or angel ancestors? My God, angel Holy Spirit. You're going to get justice, Empress High Priestess? Okay, more money is on the way. Okay, Empress High Priestess. Empress High Priestess, what is going on in the Empress High Priestess life? What are the Empress High Priestess thinking of doing? What is she up to? What is she going through? Empress High Priestess. You can be dealing with a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, or this could be you. You like you notice some people being suspicious, acting suspicious. This could be your family members or friends, friends or enemies. But you know something is wrong. You know something is up. Or these could be some comic people that's stalking you, targeting you. The mask is coming off. This can be your family or friends. You thought was your friends, but they frenemies. Empress High Priestess. Spirit God, what are the messages for the Empress High Priestess? Give me messages for the Empress High Priestess. What are the Empress High Priestess thinking for the deal? What is she up to? What is she going through? Empress High Priestess, there, guys. What are the messages for the Empress High Priestess? What's going on in the Empress High Priestess life? Empress High Priestess. What are the messages, there, guys, for the Empress High Priestess? Okay, we should we cut? No, we're not going to cut, right? Okay, the first card we have is the Ten of Pentacles at the top card. So this is about money. Okay, Empress High Priestess, you could have someone new coming into your life. This could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Or you can be the Capricorn Virgo Taurus, or it could be any sign, okay? But you got someone's coming into your life. All right, it's going to be an ex of yours, or a family member, a friend that needs your help or needs some type of assistance or support, or that needs a loan or something like that. Also, this could be someone that's... Um, I don't know, that wants to do business with you, that wants to invest in you, that wants to work with you. Also, this could be someone that's trying to sell you something, all right? I don't know if you're talking to someone about a property, about some business. Make sure you read the fine print before you sign your signature, your, your name, or whatever on some paperwork, documents, okay? But this could be a new person that's coming into your life as well, all right? This could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, all right? Empress High Priestess, High Priestess, <laughs> okay. But yeah, I see money, abundant of money. Someone sees that you're the Ten of Pentacles. Someone feels you're the Ten of Pentacles. I know someone wants marriage with you. Someone feels like you're their soulmate. Divine Empress, Divine Feminine, okay. Or well, this could be a family member, friend, or whosoever that's coming in. Be very careful about fake apologies, fake forgiveness. Someone could be pretending, lying, just to get in your business or just to get uh, close to you or just to find out what you're doing, what you're up to, okay? Also, this could be someone uh, asking people around about you, okay? So be very careful, Empress High Priestess. I'm pretty sure you know, all right? Oh, shit. Why the cars come out like that? Oh, the cars is... What the fuck? Okay, I think I... We have the Ace of Swords, victory and success. This is you cutting out all bullshit, don't serve you, don't mean you well, Empress High Priestess. This is you going for the goal, your dreams, your career, your success, achieving, succeeding, moving on, moving forward, okay? 
five of wands, fights and arguments, jealousy. So you're cutting off all low vibration, people dysfunctional, people that don't mean you well, don't serve you well. This is you telling the truth, being honest, getting to the truth, okay? As well in five of wands, fights and arguments, jealousy, competition. It's going to be with a fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, or it's going to be in the workplace or family or in the, in the area where you live, or it's going to be any sign. But I'm seeing fights and arguments, jealousy, envy, someone trying to get you fired, uh, start fights with you, arguments with you, trying to provoke you, uh, jealousy and envy, like I said, competition, okay? All right. Okay. These cars have fell out. Okay, let me, oh my goodness. Yeah, I got to straighten the cars out. Wait just a minute. I really don't curse. The only time I curse when I'm doing readings is because of whoever I'm doing the readings for, uh, whoever they dealing with. Okay. Okay. Now I have to. This week I'm gonna verify. I'm gonna clarify the five of wands for the Empress High Priestess. So I clarify the five of wands for the Empress High Priestess. What's the five of wands about? What's the Five of Wands about, Spirit? Give me more on the Five of Wands. Picking up Devil Energy. Yeah. Empress High Priestess. Clarify the Five of Wands to the Empress High Priestess, Spirit. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Ace of Wands is because you had new beginnings. It's because you're moving forward on your dream, your goals, your life purpose, your life path. This is you recognized being discovered for your gifts, your talents. So that's why these people are jealous and envy of you. They're trying to throw you off your throne. You know, they're trying to throw you off your focus. They're trying to distract you, you know. But yeah, this is you uh, having faith in what you do, believing in yourself. All right, this is you uh, being motivating and inspiring, uh, very confident in yourself. The Empress, yeah, the Empress card right here. You're the Empress, very loving, kind-hearted, nurturing. You are someone that, a leader role, that's a leader. Uh, you could be an entrepreneur, a healer, a practitioner, a light worker, chosen one, star seed. You're someone that breaks generation curses. You're someone that helps people. To get back on the right track, uh, to heal whatever they've been going through, whatever they've been traumatized, you know, uh, by. So you're the empress. You're very loving, kind-hearted. You can be pregnant or unexpected pregnancy, or you can be a mother or who whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. So you got a lot of jealousy and envy, people that's jealous because of your talents, your gifts. You successful, your dreams, you follow your life purpose, your life path. So these are knuckleheads. These are nutty bars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> high priestess, empress, empress, high priestess. You already know what's up. Okay, you are chosen. These people are mad because you are chosen. Okay, this could be your family, your frenemies, enemies, your people you work with, case with the co workers. These people are mad because you're standing in your power. You're standing in your truth. You're speaking the truth. You're very honest. And these people don't like that shit. All right? They don't like that you're telling off on them. You're not telling off on them. You're telling the truth. You know, the truth hurts. And so these people don't like for you to tell the truth. Uh, these people trying to bring you down with a frown right along with them. These people, like I said, are low vibration. Very toxic. Very negative. Okay, so give me more on the Empress, the Empress High Priestess. Give me more on the Empress Spirit. Thank you. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, uh, fire sign, important letter of news. So this is someone's trying to come in and get you stuck. You can be a Gemini, an Empress High Priest Gemini as well. So this is someone, the Knight of, the Knight of Wands, this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person's coming in with some important letter of news. This person's really coming in to get you stuck and trapped and throw you off your focus, to get in your head, to fuck with your mind, you know, to play mind games with you and shit. Empress, high priestess. 
Yeah, this could be an ex of yours, a lover, a family member, a friend, friend of me, an enemy, who whatsoever. But yeah, this person's coming in to trying to uh they don't want you to see see them for who they really are, for who they really is. Alright, this is someone's trying to play mind games with you. They could be doing binding spells, want to keep you stuck and trapped. They don't want to see you move forward with your career or with anyone else. Okay, the lovers, that's you, Gemini. You can be an Empress, Empress High Priest Gemini. Yeah, this could be someone that, that's in love with you. Okay. Yeah, lovers or a relative. Okay, but yeah, this fire sign that's coming in, they just want to come in and get you stuck and trapped. They want to get you pregnant, locked up, fucked up, you know. So this is someone that's coming in trying to play play on your intelligence, play on your emotions, you know. Empress, high priestess. Okay, so let's see. Clarify the Ace of Wands for the Empress High Priestess. Give me more on the Ace of Wands spirit for the Empress High Priestess. Yeah, you can have a Pisces, Eight of Cups, or it can be any sign, but someone's coming back from your past. This is be Divine Masculine, or this could be a family member or friend, but this is someone have ghosted you, neglected you, abandoned you, and they left you for a third party. Maybe shit ain't going right in their life with the third party. Maybe leaving the situation or leaving that person. Maybe that person left them, put them out. But this person's going through karma and they want new beginnings with you. So they're coming back to you, Empress High Priestess, okay? Because they still love you, but they're not ready to grow up. they still playing uh, uh, monkey see, monkey do. You understand what I'm saying? How go see? They still playing kitty games. This is someone that's not lawyer. This this is someone that's not honest. This is someone that cannot be trusted. All right, this is someone with hidden genius modes and flaws. Okay, this is someone's coming in and that's going to try to manipulate you, play mind games with you. Uh, this is someone's coming in, going to try to pretend like they never done anything wrong. Okay, this is someone going through karma. They could lost a job, lost a money relationship. Okay, um, this person could be having some type of mental illness, mental issues. Like I said, this person's going through karma for how they did you, Empress High Priestess, okay? Like I said, this could be an ex of yours, a, a family member, a friend, friend of an enemy, whosoever. But this person see that you have new beginnings, this person see that you're moving on with your life, you're moving forward, and they want to come in. They realize the grass was not greener on the other side where they was at. They realize that they cannot replace you. Okay, and now they're coming back to you. But this person don't have their shit together. They come back with a whole lot of baggages, a whole lot of burdens. Okay, this person don't got shit to offer you. You're the queen of pentacles. Yeah, this person see that you're the queen of pentacles. You're minding your business. You focus on yourself, your health, your wealth, your career, your business, your healing. This person see that you're not paying them any of attention. You're not giving them any of your high vibration, positive attention. This person sees that and they're curious. They wonder why you're not trying to call them, not why you're not running behind them, why you're not chasing them, why you're not texting them, messaging them. So, yeah, this person is curious about you, all right? They see that you don't give a fuck, okay? You're standing in your power. You're on your motherfucking throne, Empress High Priestess, and you got somebody's coming back looking stupid in the motherfucker, all right? And they realize what they done. They realize that they sabotaged the relationship. They realize that they just fucked up. And you ain't thinking about this person, okay? You on your money. You on your money. You on your business. You focus on your your family, your health, your wealth. You you heal, okay? You you don't got time for this person anymore. This person is low vibration. This person is toxic. This person is dysfunctional. This person. Um, play mind games back and forth back and forth been sleeping around with different females probably even males probably even men this person is 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 not your divine masculine okay or your emperor this person is a, is a trickster a trick daddy this is someone that is just i don't know this person is how what i said this person is slow retarded stupid this person didn't see your work, but now they see your work. 
But what the fuck? It's too late now. You don't want the ass no more. You you heal. You focus on yourself. You, you ugh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, anyway. Yeah, but uh Empress High Priestess, you baby, you focus on your wealth, your health, your money, your business, your family, you know. You can own a business, I don't know. You can be a singer, dancer, entrepreneur, a leader, tarot card reader, or uh, uh, whatever you, you do. You focus on you. You don't got time for the bullshit. Okay? Empress High Priestess. So give me more on the five of one. Clarify the five of one spirit. Thank you. Queen of Cups. So you got a Queen of Cups, a Cancer. Hmm, that's jealous, envy of you. This could be your mother, a mother figure, auntie, your grandmother, grandfather, a friend, an enemy, a case a co-worker, who whatsoever. This is someone starting bullshit. This is someone, um, it's a troublemaker. They go telling people shit to start shit with you, trying to turn people against you, but they hiding. Okay? This is someone that's like, they pretend to be nice. Okay, they pretend to be innocent, but at the same time, they are troublemaker. They go into these people, trying to turn people against you to fight you. They gossiping about you, spreading rumors and lies about you. Empress, high priestess. This could be a caseworker. Like I said, this could be a caseworker, family member, friend, grandmother, or auntie, or a mother figure, or who whatsoever. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is someone that's very jealous of you. They're going to be sending you the evil eye, doing spell work on you, dog magic, uh, witchcraft, black magic, juju, voodoo, voodoo. They could be sending you the evil eye. Yeah, this is someone that throws a stone and they hide. Yeah, they provoke people. They uh, against you, turn people against you and shit. This is a sorry ass, miserable ass person. This person can be a witch. Okay? All right. <laughs> okay, spirit guys. Clarify the Queen of Cups for the Empress High Priestess. Clarify the Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups about? Yeah, this jealous of your celebration. Three of Cups. This person don't want to see you happy, peace, and joyful. This person don't want to see you reunite, rekindle with your family or friends. This is someone's just jealous. They don't want to see you celebrate they they don't they just don't want to see you happy this is someone i wish they was you this is someone's looking at you like why why is the high the empress high priest is so happy okay like they jealous they intimidated by you they are jealous intimidated by your strength your confidence yeah this is someone i don't want to see you glow and show this would be someone in your family, okay? Case with a coworker, who whatsoever. Yeah, this is someone mad because they don't look like you, don't look good as you. This is someone just, I don't know, they fucking miserable. Like, depressed. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Yeah, this is someone I want to see you happy. This is someone I want to see you shine. All right. This is someone I want to see you with friends and family. This is someone I just don't want to see you happy at all, period. It's because they not happy. They are miserable. Okay. Like I said, this could be your mother, grandmother, auntie, father figure, case with a coworker, or who whatsoever. They watches you. They stalks you. They spies on you. They can be stalking you by your house. Okay, they this person think you want their man as well or their husband. Now, just someone's watching you, yeah, they very jealous of you. Maybe they husband or boyfriend, or I don't know, woman could be I don't know, could be watching you, and maybe they just I don't know, just very envy of you. Okay. But clarify the Ace of Swords for the Empress High Priestess. Thank you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. 
So it could be a Virgo, or it could be any sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or it could be any sign. So this is someone coming in, they want to do business with you. They see that you're very successful, you follow your dreams and goals. All right, but this person knows that they have to come with the truth and nothing but the truth, so help them God. Okay, this person knows they can't bullshit you. They can't run game on you. They can't play with your mind. All right? So this person coming in, they want to do business with you. It could be business and pleasure. Maybe they want to invest in you, work with you, support you, give, you know, make a deal with you, give you some type of money or something. Or they want to work with you or they want to pay you for your business. Okay? Knight of Pentacles. They necessarily don't have to be traveling. Now, they could be traveling in the day as well. Okay, but well, this is someone sees that you are following your dreams and your goals. And this is someone sees that you don't take no shit and you don't play. You don't play. You don't have time for the playground. You don't have time for bullshit. And like I said, this person knows that if they come at you, they better come with the truth because you're going to see through their monkey ass like a glass. Okay. So this is someone's coming in. They want to pay you for something. They want you to do work for them. They want to work with you. Okay. So give me more of that Knight of Pentacles for the Empress High Priestess. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, yep, yep. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for the Empress. Spirit, you giving me too many cards, honey. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. This person can also be married as well. Okay, this person can be married. This person can, I don't know. But anyway, clarify the Knight of Pentacles for the Empress High Priestess. Thank the lovers. Yeah, this person in love with you or this person think you a fuck girl. Okay? Someone thinks they can buy sex from you. Someone thinks they can buy you with money, Empress High Priestess. Mm-hmm. The lovers. I don't know. Maybe you and this person had some type of um, relationships together. Uh, business and pleasure together. Uh, maybe you and this person used to deal together. But the lovers. This person wants to sleep with you. This person wants to have sex with you. This person wants to pay you for sex. The lovers. Yeah. You could be an Empress High Priestess, Gemini. Yeah, this person wants to pay you for sex. This person wants to do business and pleasures with you. Yeah. Wow. Really? Okay. Uh, oh, wow. This person going to offer you some money? <laughs> yeah, this person going to uh, make a deal with you. Yeah, they're going to try to like... Like try to buy you with money. Uh, something like that. Empress High Priestess. Yeah, this person thinks she was a fuck girl, a fuck woman, or whatever you want to call it. This person thinks they can just... This person thinks they can get you with money. This person thinks you easy. Empress High Priestess. Like I said, this could be someone you used to deal with. Or this could be someone new. Or this could be, like I said, um, someone just... Someone feels like they can... I don't know. Someone thinks she was a fuck girl. Someone thinks she's easy. Or someone just wants to buy sex from you. Or someone wants to do business with you or whatever. Okay? Lovers. Yeah. This could be someone that's, that's still in love with you as well. Okay? Maybe they don't try to buy you back. Buy your heart. Buy your feelings. I don't know. Something they're trying to do. <laughs> Give me more of the Ten of Pentacles for the Empress High Priestess. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Love it. This is your divine wishes, blessings, new opportunity, prosperities. This doors are opening for you, contracts, deals. Okay. This is someone who wants to propose to you, buy your ring, marriage. Okay. Empress, high priestess. Mm-hmm. Lawsuit, inheritance, money, child support payment. Win, lottery win. Okay. Yeah, this is someone sees you as marriage with terrorists. This is someone sees you as a wife, a mother, a mother of their kids. Yeah, this is something that you've been working on. Whatever you've been working on, praying on, your divine wishes being blessed, it's been answered, it's been heard by the universe, by your ancestors, your spirit guides. 
Uh, this is, yeah, this is someone sees you as a ten of pentacles. Like I said, this is someone who wants to propose to you by your ring, marriage, money, success, dreams, your goals, uh, you know, your life purpose. You're very, you know, you're succeeding, you're achieving. This is you following your life purpose, your dreams. Okay, the ace of pentacles, so money is coming in. Okay, love it, love it. Give me more on the Ace of Pentacles for the Empress High Priestess. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, value the swords. I knew that was going to come. Enemies and frenemies. This could be in your family, your friends, so-called friends, your neighborhood. This could be someone's jealous of your work, your success, what you do. This is one jealous because they know you got money coming in. All right, you being blessed. And these people can be comic people in your family, family members or frenemies, people in the neighborhood. These can be people that's jealous of your, your dreams, whatever you do for a living, your money, your work. Okay, you got a queen of wands, a fake friend, an everything Sagittarius, someone that pretends like they mean well, but they don't. Okay, but these comic people, these low vibration people, they stalk you, they target you. Um, they could be online watching you, talking to you, stalking you, um, very jealous of you, envy of you, low vibration. Uh, these people are dysfunctional. So like I said, this could be your family, okay? This could be your family or people that in the building where you live, in your area, all right? Um, yeah, uh, Empress High Priestess. Yep, yep, yep. Give me more on the Eight of Swords for the Empress High Priestess. Clarify the Eight of Swords spirit. Okay. Yeah, this person wants the, the hangman. This is someone who wants to stop you, block you, slow you down, slow down your process, your progress, setbacks, blockages, keep you on hold, put you on hold. Okay. Yeah, you got someone's coming in with a fake apology, fake forgiveness. So give me more on the Eight of Swords for the Empress High Priestess. What's the Eight of Swords about? Clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this this person wants to have you stuck and trapped mental in your head and spiritual uh, uh prison in your mind. This is someone, yeah. Eight of Wands came out. This is someone love bombing you. They could be sending you telepathic messages. You have some type of chemistry or spiritual connection with this person. And yeah, this is someone that you haven't seen in a long time in a while. And they had you on hold or are they trying to have you on hold? This is someone coming in real, real fast. They moving real fast. They coming in fast towards you, Empress High Priestess. Yeah. Yeah. This is something that's been like been going on for a long time. This person have been uh, saying things, talking shit about you. That's not even true. Okay. Um. Give me more on the Eight of Swords, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Okay. The sun, yeah. This is someone that want to see you happy. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you in a shine in a bright light. Okay. This is someone knows that you are destined for greatness. Okay. This is someone just trying to stop your peace and joy, your happiness. Okay. Yeah, this is the one I want to see you happy. Move forward without them. Yeah. The sun, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this is someone trying to take your sunshine away. Trying to steal your sunshine. They don't want to see you glow and blow up. <laughs> okay. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for the Empress High Priestess. 
Wow, seven of wands. You got a fire sign. Aries deals his terrorists or be a group people. This is someone trying to put fear in you, trying to scare you, make you nervous, trying to throw you off, trying to distract you. Empress, high priestess, this could be a Leo, okay? Someone's trying to bully you. This is someone's trying to like, I don't know, try to distract you, throw you off your focus. This is someone see that you're not, like I said, paying them any attention, all right? Like this is someone's trying to make you feel guilty, put fear in your heart, scare you, make you nervous. This person can be a bully. This person can be very abusive, controlling. And yeah, this is someone's jealous because you don't fuck with them. You don't deal with them. You mind your business. You don't have anything to say to them or, you know, do with them. And that's why they mad. Because you don't fuck with them. This person could have been spreading lies and rumors about you, Empress High Priestess. Yeah. This person is very jealous of you. Trying to block you and stop you. Yeah, this is someone, or this could be some people. They they mad. They, they see that you're, you know, you're not with that bullshit, okay? You are someone that's very wise and responsible, okay? And smart and intelligent. And this fire sign don't like that, or these group of people don't like that, okay? They see that you have grown. You have changed, and these people are still the same in a bad way. So this is someone's trying to throw you off your throne. Yeah, this is someone's just mad because you're not focused on them. They're not giving your attention. They can't fuck with you. They can't make you mad. They can't make you sad. <laughs> Holy Lord, right. What, what, okay, the high priestess. The high priestess came out. You know the truth. You know someone's secrets. You know what someone's trying to do. You can smell it. You can feel it. You can see it because you're the high priestess. You are the empress high priestess. Very psychic, very intuitive. Club, send declare audience. Okay, empath, telepath. All right. You know the truth about someone. All right. You know the fucking truth about someone. Okay. We have clarified the Three of Cups. Give me more on the Three of Cups for the Empress High Priestess. Three of Pentacles. Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This could be your spirit guides, your angels around you, supporting you, helping you. Or this could be a group of people. Okay. This could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus that's running a map, going to some people. This got something to do with a house or apartment or a or something like that. This can be people where you live. In the building where you live at. This can be people trying to talk about your house. Or I don't know your living situation. Like the ten of swords. Yeah, backstabbing, betraying, deceiving you. This is somebody who wants to end something for you. Stop you. Yeah these people are trying to get you put out. They could be saying all types of shit, going back to the landlord, or trying to go to some other people, get people on their side to turn against you, to lie on you, to gang up on you. The ten of swords, deception. They want to end something, stop you, block you. Okay. So we're clear about the lovers for the Empress High Priestess. What's the lovers? Four Wands. So if this is you stable, you at home, you at peace with your family, you know, you happy. Okay, this is someone that you had a relationship with. Y'all once were lovers or lovers and friends. This is someone who wants another chance with you. This could be a fire sign. Yeah. Okay. This could be someone that you have a family with. Uh, this could be you moving to a new home, to a different location. Or oh, this is someone that wants another chance with you. They want to move in with you. They want you to move in with them. Okay. Or they want another chance with you. They want to be back, you know, like a family again together with you. Lovers, yeah. This could be a fire sign, yeah. A Virgo. It could be yeah, any sign. Four of Wands. Yeah, this is someone sees they self back with you. This is someone wants to be back together with you. 
okay? Lovers in the four wands, yeah. Is this the one see that you're happy where you at? You at peace, you're stable, okay? Give me more on the Five of Swords, Spirit. Clarify the Five of Swords for the Empress High Priestess. Seven of Cups. Scorpio energy as well. But these people are thinking ill things about you. They have ill intentions towards you. And this could be a Scorpio that's scoping you out, you know, stalking you, spying on you. This person could be delusional. This person could have some mental illness, mental issues. This person could be drunk and high on drugs. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, you got someone watching you, stalking you, spying on you. Thinking all types of negative things, thoughts about you. Very delusional. This person can have mental illness, mental issues. This person can be drunk or high. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. What's the Three of Pentacles for the Empress High Priestess? Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this, the World Card. The World Card speaks about trips overseas, money traveling, success, dreams, and goals moving forward. Also speaks about these people wants to stop you in you. They want you to give up on something as well. So whatever you do in the public, you could be a public speaker, entrepreneur, singer, dancer, a writer, a tarot card reader, or who whatsoever. But these are people that's trying to stop you and block you and it wants to end something for you. All right. Also, this could be you traveling, money trips overseas, the world in the palm of your hand. You could be thinking about traveling, okay, moving forward on your career, on your success, your goals, ten of cups, happy family, reuniting, rekindling back together with someone, or this could be a new person that's coming in your life, okay, or this could be a family member, a friend, or something like that, reuniting, rekindling, okay. Empress High Priestess. Give me more on the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands about? Hidden enemy. What's the Seven of Wands about, Spirit? Clarify the Seven of Wands for the Empress High Priestess. What's the Seven of Wands? Give me more information on the Seven of Wands. Two of Pentacles, yeah. This person wants to juggle you. It's going to be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, a Leo. This person wants to play mind games with you, juggle you, want to be in your energy. This person can be in your energy, okay? This person can be very childish and immature. Yeah, this person wants to juggle you and another person. This person could go both ways. Like I said, this person wants to play mind games with you, throw you off your focus. And this could be someone that's in your energy where you live. This could be someone, like I said, like trying to manipulate you, brainwash you. Um, low vibration, trying to keep you on a low vibration. This is someone who wants you to be low vibration like them. And the death card came out. This is someone who wants to end something. Like I said, this would be someone from your past. If I remember a friend, a lover, or ex, or whatsoever. Death card. This is someone who wants to end something for you, stop something for you. This is someone who don't care who they run over, who they take advantage of, who they hurt. This could be someone that had a third party, like I said, third party on you. All right. This is someone that's trying to stop your new beginnings, okay, for moving forward. Empress, uh, high priestess. Yeah. This is some weird shit going on. Okay. So give me more on the Seven of Cups for the Empress High Priestess. What's up with this Seven of Cups? This weirdo. Someone sees you as a star, very popular, very famous as well. You, this could be a secret admirer as well, the Seven of Cups. Or an uh, uh, <laughs> uh, enemy, a frenemy. 
Clarify the Seven of Cups for the Empress High Priestess. What's the Seven of Cups, Spirit? Clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Page of Swords. That's what I thought. Someone stalking you, spying you. Now, leave Aquarius, masculine or a masculine female. So, this could be someone stalking you, spying being very deceptive towards you, doing things behind your back. This is someone very jealous and envious and you can't be trusted. This could be a family member, a friend, case for a co-worker, or this could be someone, a stranger. You just never know. People freaking nuts. Or this could be you. You got your guards up, Empress High Priestess. You feeling defensive. You feel like you need to defend yourself, stand up for yourself, protect yourself. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You got a crazy-ass fire sign that's coming towards you. Very aggressive, angry, mad, pissed the fuck off. Wants to fight and argue with you. Or they could be sending you negative energy. Okay? Sending you the evil eye. Alright? Very abusive as well. You're going to get justice. Okay? The will of fortune is in your favor. Empress High Priestess. I'm going to start right here. This is your reading, Empress High Priestess. Okay? Stay blessed and prayed up. And smooches.